Kikosi speciali cha makachero kimevamia nyumbani kwa alikuwa waziri wa usalama ndani Fred Matiangi. Inadaiwa kuwa maafisa hawa ambao walikuwa wamevalia sare na wengine wakiwa na mavazi ya raia walitua nyumbani kwake Matiangi mtani Karen jijini Nairobi wakitumia magari sita. All I can say is this. This is a fishing expedition, a proper fishing expedition by the DCI to either uh, curtail any element of the assertions that we made which were true, there were police officers at the, the CS residence and uh, this is a veiled attempt in terms of exonerating themselves of the mess that they got themselves into. So what we are saying is let us be served with the application, let us know how to respond to it let, because the, the Data Protection Act which is uh, a constitutional safeguard has given the CS mandate and power to have an uh, uh, enjoyment of his property. This is an intrusion into the property of the CS and this is an intrusion into his uh, person. This is an intrusion <coughs> by officers who want to uh, cover up and that is why we are here. We are vigilant as usual and there is nothing that will be filed anywhere because this is the third one. If they file another fourth one or fifth, whichever jurisdiction of the court they are going to go to, we are ready to get there and we are ready to defend the CS and we are ready to tell the world that this is a veiled attempt of cover-ups and uh, an abuse of the legal process. Tukia hili linajirisa chache baada mkrugenzi wa DCI Amin Mohamed kudaikuwa mepata idhini kutoka kwa makama kwenda nyumbani kwa kimatiangi ili kupata kanda za CCTV. DCI likuwa tari imezitaka kampuni za usalama za AMSEC na Bob Morgan kuwasilisha kanda za video za kilicho tokea nyumbani kwake Matiangi usiku huo. Inspekta mkuu wa DCI Yunis Njue amesema kuwa anachunguza kisa cha jaribio la uvamizi ambacho kinadaiwa kutokea nyumbani kwake Matiangi na wanaodaiwa kwa maafisa wa polisi. A new dimension of robbery with violence has been brought in. We never neither has the CS said there was robbery there was an attempt of robbery it is a read by the state agencies that is the issue and as we said the raid of the state agencies cuts across more than 9 to 10 uh, disciplined forces so any trying to bring an issue that there was robbery when the DCI will arrest one or two small boys in town and say they are the ones who are attempting to rob. And the story ends. The big question we are putting is that the CS, it was a raid by state agencies in his house. Third, we are putting notice that we are not objecting to the CCTV footages being handed over, but within the law. Njue anasema kwa iwapo kanda hizo za CCTV hazita lindwa vyema basi kuna uwezekano ushahidi ukaitilafiwa hali ambayo itaathiri uchunguzi. Maafisa wa polisi pia wameiandikia barua muungano wa kazi wa mtaa wa Karen Gong ukiwataka kutoa video za CCTV za usiku huo. Tayari tume ya maadili na kupambana na ufisadi nchini Kenya ESCC Idara ya uchunguzi wa jinai DCI, Inspector General wa Polisi Japheth Koome na Waziri wa Salama wa Ndani nchini Kenya Kithure Kendiki wamekana kuwatuma maafisa wa polisi katika tukio hilo la uvamizi. It is well known that the very many cases that have collapsed and have been withdrawn is because the DCI was manufacturing evidence. We know this one, once they take the footage the of, the D, of the CS, they will go and manufacture it. They will tailor it. That is why we are saying we must be sub, we must be present, we'll have our own experts. The CCTV footage will be extracted in the presence of the media. The whole world will see 
what is in that CCTV footage so that it is no longer an issue that they have taken and man cooked it. We will be asking on that seven that the media be present, be allowed to air to the whole world what is there. Otherwise, the question of transparency and accountability is at stake. Finally, we urge the DCI. These are the lawyers of the CS, 200 of them. Serve us with applications. Don't hide sneaking one from one court to another. We are ready and determined to defend uh, CS Matiangi to the last of the law as it provides. And when you are investigating robbery with violence, an offense that does not exist, that tells you there's malice aforethought, there's a way to frame the CS, but his legal team is ready to defend him.